<laughs> Why are you getting... <laughs> Susie, Susie, where is Susie? Susie, do you copy? Who the heck is Susie? <laughs> That's the name of the episode. Over oh. and out. What's up, oh. YouTube? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, man. We're trying to be a little different in these intros. Like, comment, subscribe <laughs> on the damn video. It helps with the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? We've fallen off over here, guys. We need some help. Uh, Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> June 28th, 1984. A whole nother year passes. Some scenes have a strobing effect. So maybe sensitive to viewers or something. Don't they look like someone you'd shoot on Call of Duty? They look like the people in that Metallica 1 music video. The bad guy. Damn, that key had a fancy box, didn't it? You know, that key's important. There's only two of them. Oh, you gotta have two of them. <laughs> Are we watching Spider-Man? They're opening it back up with a collider? But it's open, we never closed. Y'all are psycho because I didn't even know internet existed in the 80s. Might as well just damn skip season two. All that worked for what? Every time they do something like this in their TV show, the lab blows up. You know what I mean? They're about to all get taken out by a demigorgon. Electrode. He said, I feel like that's a marvel. What does word. Electrode say? He says, you know, I'm Electro. Dang, that general didn't even flinch. That was a human? Yeah, you go in there. So it's the damn Russians doing it. So they were the ones listening on the phone. Yeah, good. general. Yeah, they need to let Ronald Reagan. He's gonna go up there and he's gonna be like, open up this wall. <laughs> Damn. USSR, boys. What do you think about that? I think L's gonna have to defeat some Russians. Can you dance a little bit, please? I don't know how to do th th this. <laughs> if it has a three over it, that'd be cool. This music just sort of makes me feel like I should be having a seizure or something. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I feel like you should play Dance Dance Revolution really fast to this or something. No, nah, dance your whole ass off doing that. No, what if you had to make your butt mouth like that? Don't, 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 don't. don't. <laughs> It'd be hard, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's Elle and Mike. Oh, look at the dog. Worked a lot. Look at those Tostitos, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey! Hey! Three inch minimum. Leave the door open three inches. <laughs> L, open this door. What's wrong? <laughs> oh my God, that was priceless. Did you see his face? Mike wouldn't be at my house like no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, fat tomato. I wish I was still with you. I know. They it's grew more. up. It's so weird. You're late. I'm sorry. Again. We're going to miss the opening. Yeah, if you guys keep whining about it, let's go. <laughs> Just please stop talking, dude. Let me guess. You were busy. Oh, yeah. Real mature, Lucas. I like Lucas's outfit. I wish we make yeah, out forever and never hang out with any of our friends. Lucas, stop. I'm spending romantic time with my girlfriend. Aw. Poor Will. Sorry, 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 
There's all kinds of Nancy's at the mall, ain't there? <laughs> <laughs> they all look like her. Yeah, watch it, nerd. Oh. Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> Isn't it time you die? Yeah. Psycho. But hey. I bet Nostalgia Alley is just blowing up right now for right. people. Uh, again? <laughs> seriously? Yes. <laughs> Boy works for damn chips all the way over here. He said again, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> what's that? What's he like? Ice cream shop or something? I He's swear, skipper if anybody hears about this, we're, we're dead. dead. All clear. Captain Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they can sneak into movies. That <laughs> Steve sneaks them in. <laughs> See, Lucas, we made it. You missed the previews. Still made it. Fart face. What are they watching again? Have you seen it? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> like Tomb Raider? <laughs> because the other place used all the energy. The trying to open that portal. It sucked all the energy from the city. Overlord of the grid. What the heck? Oh, snap. I would think we was under attack. EMPs! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at those Rocket League players. Look at those things on Game of Thrones. I mean, House of the Dragon. Those are rats. What the heck are they creating? Oh yeah, remember in those tunnels? It made a tornado thing? Last season? Oh yes it did, yeah. yeah it's got the Not the tunnels. Tangled. Not the tunnels, uh, speakers. Yeah. yeah. They were experimenting on it. <laughs> Let there be light. Back to work, mateys. He's like, screw off their necks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Dang, it looks like Will can't chill. <gasps> oh. Oh no. That man's got some goose pimples. So it's affecting him. <gasps> oh, <need> alarm. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Yeah, are you sure? Of course. Shit. Yes, Nancy. Shit, 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 shit. shit. Oh, what's wrong? <gasps> what? What? We forgot to reset the clock. The power went out last night. Oh, shit. Wait, how old are they? Weren't they like? Aren't About they graduate or something? Aren't, didn't they graduate? Better damn hope so. <laughs> oh no, she's jumping out the window. Mm -mm. Nancy, that is not fancy. Hey, hey, wait up! <gasps> oh, oh no, I need joys. Cheek. <laughs> all right, all right. I gotta run. See you later. <laughs> Here. Oh. Can you please drive faster? Wait, you want to break down? Hey, we're lucky this thing still drives at all. I'm serious, Jonathan. I can't be late. You mean we <laughs> can't be late? No, I mean I can't be late. They like you no matter what you do. Hey, they like you too. <laughs> Can you just please drive faster? Okay. This is crazy that they're together and like now we get to see how they like. <laughs> Actually, this is gold yeah. leader returning to base. Do you chemistry? copy over? Yeah. This is gold leader returning to base. Do you They're copy over? They're also with the end of the world mission. I repeat, this is gold leader <laughs> returning to base. Do you copy over? I repeat, this is goddamn gold Dusty. leader. What? <laughs> Relax. For goodness sake. I'm in range. They should be answering. A month. Where do you go to summer camp? Or maybe to his dad's house or something? Oh, that's why he wasn't at the movies. I was wondering where Justin was. That was like our house. Yeah. Not that scene. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Camp nowhere. At least someone's happy I'm home. Uh -uh. Put it down. Put it down. What the heck, man? Then turn into Toy Story. What in the heck? Is that Steve? <laughs> Just a dream. You're dreaming. Right? I knew it was them. Um... 
It was L. <laughs> <laughs> what in the heck? <laughs> Why would they scare the mess out of him like that though? <laughs> <laughs> Poor buddy. That pool is way too crowded. I know, it? like I I could not be there. <laughs> is that Nippy's mom? Ladies, she's coming down. I was about to be a different life going. <laughs> They like that girl a lot? And no, they're showtime. switching the shift. Oh. No. It's Billy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not those middle-aged women hype about that. Oh, and her. I kind of like her like Barbie like aesthetic though. Because I used to have a Barbie that looked like that. <laughs> so Billy's like the local celebrity, huh? <laughs> yeah, but how's he gonna be as a lifeguard? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Hot. Hey, Lord ass! No running on my watch. I gotta warn you again, and you're banned for life. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, afternoon, ladies. <laughs> afternoon, Billy. Take the new suit, Mrs. Wheeler. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bro, I am dead. How did he get that job? How is he such a strict lifeguard? <laughs> She better chill. <laughs> She's about to catch a charge. I know. Oh. Billy has to be like, what, 18? 19? No, he's like, 40 I don't know. Something. In the 80s, did you have to be a certain age to buy cigs? Mm -mm. <laughs> to be old enough to walk in. <laughs> hey. Aww. You busy? You're our first customer. So, what now? And then L, she just <laughs> slams the door right in my face. Parenting uh -huh. 101. You know, it is that smug son of a bitch, Mike. He's corrupting her, I'm <laughs> telling you. And I'm just going to lose it. I mean, I'm going to lose it, Joyce. Just take it down, Hopper. I need for them to break up. That, that is not your decision. Son of a bitch. <laughs> They're spending entirely Mike, too much you know? time together. You agree with me about that, right? Well, I mean, they're just kissing, right? <laughs> it is constant. They're teenagers. Talk to them. No, no, because talking doesn't work. Not <laughs> yelling, not ordering. Talk Three to them. Three and troll. Oh, like a heart to heart. A heart to heart? <laughs> what is that? You sit them down and you talk to them like you're their friend. I find if Joy you talk help. to them like you're on their level, then they really start to listen. And then, you know, you could start to create some boundaries. I don't think he could lose his temper. you could do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. You'd come over after work. What? Maybe I can help you find the right words. Oh. <laughs> She has no idea Nancy's their other roommate. The Hawkins Post. Oh, so she's like interning yeah. or secretary in there or something. It looks like interning because she's bringing Sammy. Oh, no, 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 no. Nancy. Oh, the, the ruin. <laughs> Fellas, in six hours we go to print. I need something real. Oh, I think they're real. <laughs> what about Star Court? I, I was just thinking. I mean, I know everyone loves them all, but. <laughs> How many small businesses have closed since it opened? Like five on Main at least. I like it a lot, but I think I've got something even spicier. It's about the missing mustard on my hamburger. Oh my gosh, Dang. shut up, Owen oh, Wilson. I know. That's what I thought, but I looked <laughs> I at his nose. Follow the clues and solve the case of the missing condiment, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Nancy not Drew. Nancy Drew, man. Better? Because I've been around like a lot of dudes in my life, and they were not that just obnoxiously stupid. Well, I've had a moment where Start I've talked, and it? it was like, is it a woman talking type what of situation? I was just asking. My bad. <laughs> That's all me. call it the forever clock. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, powered by wind, very useful in the apocalypse. <laughs> then I give you the slammer. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? But this, this is my masterpiece. I would like you to meet Cerebro. <gasps> Shut up. Like on What exactly are we looking at here? An unassembled, one-of-a-kind, battery-powered radio tower. I can talk to my girlfriend whenever and wherever I choose. Girlfriend? girlfriend. Right. Wait, so her name is Susie? Susie. Susie. With a Z. She's from Utah. Girls go to <laughs> science camp? Susie does. She's a genius. Is she cute? 
think Phoebe Cates only hotter. <laughs> What's going on? I'm gonna talk to is. Dustin's girlfriend. Girlfriend? girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> He's still spraying it out his eye. All right, he wants a scoop of chocolate. That's a buck twenty-five. See what it's like to earn a working man's wage. You know, and we all have a, a different really route to sales. Yeah, Steve. totally. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> this is like so fun. <laughs> we should kind of like you know, I don't know, maybe hang out this weekend or so. Oh, sorry about that. I don't Aww. know. Maybe next weekend or. Yeah, I'm busy. Oh, oh, that's cool. I'm actually, I'm working here next weekend, so. Oh. <laughs> I. This is my first day here. <sighs> And another one bites the dust. You <laughs> That's are who he's gonna 0, date. Four, six, Popeye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can count. You know that means you suck. What, your forehead? No, his hair. You know, it's a crazy oh. idea, <laughs> but have you considered? I thought it looked better that way. The truth? Oh, you mean that I couldn't even get an attack in my douchebag dad's trying to teach me a lesson? Mm -hmm. Going in. Okay. And you know what? Screw company policy. Oh my God, you're a whole new man. Right? Mm. <laughs> Ahoy, ladies! I didn't see you there. Would you guys like to set <laughs> sail on this ocean of flavor with me? I'll be captain. <laughs> I'm Steve Harrington. Oh God. Can I get you guys a little taste of the cherries jubilee? No? Anybody? People? Four spoons? Anybody? <laughs> I know this is a difficult conversation to have. She's mean. <laughs> I hope you know that I care about you very much, and I know that you. Eye contact. This does not sound like me at all. <laughs> Just keep going. It doesn't. Just tell Mike keep his tongue to himself. He's gonna put them hands. Why on. I think it's yeah. important to establish these boundaries moving forward. <laughs> no looking, you know this. Come on. So we can build an environment. <laughs> Share our feelings. <laughs> Sharing our feelings. This isn't gonna work. Um, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Yes, it will. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Chief of Police, I could cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you want to uh oh! You can give me some more pointers. Oh, I, um, I, I have plans. Okay, sure. Man, she ain't got no damn plans. What kind of plans you got? Jonathan, Jonathan has something. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, sure. I don't know. Hey, Carol. I made it up. Hi. Dang, you just put the memory in my head. I thought he was like, Mom, you gotta be there. Hey, the call. Oh, he realized. Realized what? That he loves Joyce. Oh. Aren't we high enough? Cerebro works best at 100 meters. Oh shit! She doesn't have electricity. Oh, that's the Amish. They're Mormon. Super religious white people. They have electricity in cars and stuff, but since I'm not Mormon, her parents would never approve. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit Shakespearean. Shakespearean. Yeah. Like Romeo and Juliet. Right. Is it Dustin? Is he making Star this up? Lovers. I got it. Hey guys, I have to go home. We're almost there. Sorry, man. Curfew. Come on, let's go. Good luck. They just want to go be alone. Don't yeah, y'all little sneak. Curfew at four? They're lying. It's been like this all summer. It's romantic. It's gross. It's <laughs> bullshit. I just got home. <laughs> you know, if I was right? in there a little click, though, that would be Onwards annoying. and upwards. Susie awaits. <gasps> but Max wants to hang out with him. Oh, is he seeing the upside down right now? Or feeling it? This is where a drain will be so psyched. Ew, hell yeah! What's left? Yeah, when I had dreams about rats the other day, someone said in the comments, you guys are gonna have, like, I don't know, it's a prediction or something. I'm predicting what's gonna happen. Huh. Not the aviators. Well, if she wants his attention, just start running. <laughs> oh, adult swims over. <laughs> Looking good out there, Mrs. Wheeler. Thank you. Perfect form. She looks like Harley Quinn. Uh, you? <laughs> your form is amazing. I'm sorry, I mean, I, I've seen you. Uh, Teaching. Oh. Mm, nope. I know all the styles. Freestyle, breaststroke. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Into a wrong it, it was the music I for me. You, I didn't think you taught adults. Well, I offer more. Uh, made it. Well, no, it's you just that it's all of my ears. <laughs> Why couldn't we just play DD? I'm so thirsty. I like it because it's that. <laughs> you seriously just drink the rest of our water? Oh, no! <laughs> Lucas! Ew! <laughs> Lucas with the mucus, boy. <laughs> she said, nope. <laughs>
So Dustin built this at science camp? What the? <laughs> They're smart. Sometimes you can't even get the white sword. I know. <laughs> you don't even know how to order stuff at the, like, an online thing. Pretty impressive, right? Yeah. Now, you ready to meet my love? Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Susie, this is Dustin. Do you copy? Over. She's not answering, bro. What does she do? One sec. No, she's probably, she's still there. Susie, <laughs> this is Dustin. Do you copy? Over. <laughs> you know, maybe she's like busy. Yeah. It's around dinner time. Mm, yeah. Here. Here. <laughs> Susie, do you copy? This is Dustin. Stop over. it. I'm so tired of him getting rejected. Susie, do you copy? This is Dustin. Over. The world's loneliest kid. Hey guys, I'm home. Guys? Hello? It looks different. <laughs> Oh, they're funny, don't you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just wish they get back together again already. Oh. Well, she doesn't really want Bob or anything. She just feels guilty because she got him killed. Tell everyone that I'll call after the wedding tomorrow. He asked her to leave and she said no, or, you know. Yeah, she used him. She didn't mean to use him. She knew what she was involving him in was extremely dangerous. She didn't let him know. Yeah. She hit him from the truth and got him killed. Is he talking to them through the upside down? Magnetism just messed up. Hawkins Post? Um, ho hold on. I'm sorry. Can you, can you repeat that? Disease rats. You guys. Why is it important to establish these boundaries <laughs> moving forward so that we can create an environment where... <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> he just doesn't... <laughs> Why do you got ashes on his chin? Because he don't feel normal saying this. <laughs> to share our feelings. <laughs> Look at the coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> You got this. You should just holster the gun for hey. dramatic effect. Yes? He might pull that bass off Can the wall. Can I talk to you guys a minute? Hi. Hi. Turn it off. <laughs> oh my. Um. <laughs> what I uh, needed to say to you is that, um. Uh oh, I think we're in trouble. You better shut up, Mike. <laughs> uh, Mike! <laughs> no. No, nobody's in trouble, okay? I just, um. <laughs> uh. Uh. Mm mm. You know what? Your mom called. <laughs> what? Yeah, she needs you home right away. Is everything okay? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's your grandma. <laughs> Dang. Is she dead? Does she have cancer? No. Then I don't understand what's wrong with Nana. Oh, here we go. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with Nana. What? But there's <laughs> very wrong with this thing between you and Elf. <laughs> Are you lying, piece of shit? Uh-huh. He got backhanded. Mm, 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 mm. You're crazy. Crazy. <laughs> you want to see a real crazy? <laughs> you disrespect me again. Okay. Yeah, Aww. tell him. Hopper. And he said, "Daughter, I love that." I, lo I love the word "allow." Mm. Nod if you understand. Better get it, nod. You need a hopper and Joyce as your parents. You need a Joyce and you need a hopper. You copy. This is Dustin. Over. Susie, this is Dustin. Do you copy? Over. Oh, look at Will. <laughs> Susie. Dustin, come on. She's not there. Or maybe Susie doesn't exist. She exists. She's a <laughs> genius and she's hotter than Phoebe Cates. No girl is that perfect. Dang. Is that so? I Except mean, you. You're perfect. He's making those young mistakes. I mean, mm. like, per perfect in your own way. I mean, your special, your own special way. Relax, I was teasing. <laughs> I'm obviously perfect and Dustin's obviously lying. <laughs> come on, Don Juan. Where you Don't going? do them like that. Jess, it's just you and me, Byers. Um, it's late. Sorry. Damn, his voice Maybe is deeper than Jonathan's was. I know. Or something fun. 
It's like tomorrow we play D&D. Yeah, sure. Welcome home. Bro, I'd hang out with you, Dustin. Oh. Yeah. Welcome home. I hate it when they're mean to him. I hate his rejection. Susie! Susie, is that you? Yeah, she's a Russian man. Вход есть. Когда синяя встретится с желтым на запад. Blue means yellow in the west. Поездка в Китай звучит неплохо, если быть осторожным. That's some code words, obviously. Or just Russian that doesn't translate. Yeah, maybe we just don't understand Russian culture. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't know about the cat. The silver cat that feeds you. Know. We all know of silver cats. <laughs> That looks like the cop. This lady's walking a fine line between funny and cringy. Um, stay at home. About to be Tommy Lee and what's that other girl's name? I don't even know who Tommy Lee is. You guys know what I'm talking about. Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee up in here. You know, he was a rock star. She was a busted blonde girl. Aaron. Hey. Damn, Billy popped the wheelie. Oh, no. No. Listen. Damn it. He needs to calm down. His mental is all over the place. Just living a rocker life, you know? He's all covered up. <gasps> Some sludge. Jimmy Morgans. Disease rats. Who's there? Hey, I said who's there? <laughs> All that basketball, he still don't know how to watch the pit. <laughs> I want to feel bad. I do. But you trying to break up the wheelers, man? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely messing the town up. Guys, that's how you start out a damn season, boys. Yeah. Uh, I really like the show, man. I do want to say, though, all these little kids, man, these little teenage boys and girls, I understand that they're growing and they're learning about themselves and all that. Me personally, bro, I ain't trying to watch these little kids kiss on the screen, but that's just me. But other than that, man, I thought the show was really, really good. I'm good on that part, though. But, but you know um, what? You know what it's doing for me? It's giving us like, you know, because we're going to have to have these conversations soon. We're not far off from them yeah that's so true. it's giving me like I, I sat here and thought about how am i gonna say this how am i gonna when if stuff happens to me like this what am i gonna do yeah yeah and we will absolutely we'll do a good job with that i have no doubt really good episode though man i don't know what just happened to your boy billy billy got snatched down the stairs so uh i think a demigorgon got him right but the thing is i've that seen like no demigorgon i've you keep saying that but i ain't seen one i just is that not what that little remember when steve harrington went down in the cellar and he had the bat and then he saw that sludge that came from a demigorgon that's the same type of sludge billy just came across and so in my mind the rats sacrifice themselves to make a demigorgon i don't know what the thing with the rats were i don't know right. why the rats were doing that i right. don't know well, what's up with that well when nancy wrote down disease rats i didn't realize that's important well the rats are like in sewers and stuff and i would imagine that i don't think i should do with nothing actually <laughs> you know what but um maybe the rats are you know maybe there's something leaking from hawkins and the the rats are you know what i'm saying it looked like to me they they were told to go somewhere just like the de demi dogs right they sacrifice themselves to make like something you know how rats infiltrate societies so like like in new york for example like there's more rats than there are people which is insane so maybe the upside down the demigorgon whatever this creature is maybe it intentionally disease the rats so the rats could go go into the fields and then you know eventually disease like the birds and the hawks and all that kind of like you know the what I mean? like messes up the ecosystem yeah yeah it's almost like it's trying to destroy the ecosystem in a way yeah we'll, crazy we'll episode more on, man there's more on that I, I do think it's funny though i think the dynamic's funny i think <laughs> hopper's sitting here trying to navigate like how the hell do i like not break my mike's face for sticking his tongue in my daughter's mouth like i understand that right because you know what i'm saying i'm sure like from hopper's perspective he wants to hit that boy with the damn uppercut mm. uh i'm so kind of glad really we don't funny. have a daughter because I could see you being the same way, like being really upset about that. <laughs> 
I mean, man, you know what I'm saying. They're, they're just, I don't know. I feel like middle school is a little young to be up in the bedroom. They're in high school. Are they? they well, what, Will, ain't grade? No, Will ain't in no middle school talking like the that. The thing is, I understand when you're in like high school and stuff, you're going to do that. But my thing is, if my kids do that, sure. But they're not going to be so comfortable they're going to be doing it in front of me. Yeah, Because if they're no. that comfortable to do it in front of me, then God knows what Y'all better be hide that junk me. from me. Yeah, they, they better at least have some sense of like, I shouldn't be doing this. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Which, not, which I think that's good failed. that Hopper kind of sets Mike straight because yeah, set him wh- straight, whether Hopper. you guys like it or not, I feel like kids I don't need like that. Joyce's kids attitude. Need that. Joyce's well, no. whole, well, they're just kids. Well, Joyce, I don't like that Joyce is saying she just wants to talk to them about it, tell her how she feels about it. Like, I get that part too because I feel like there's parts of parenting that you have to have that side. You have to have no. that side. You have to have Hopper's side. You have to have two in the same to make a good parent. Do we miss anything on that one? Uh, Dustin's got a girlfriend. He keeps getting rejected. Well, which apparently, he has a girlfriend. I really believe him, though. I don't think he'd make the thing up. I mean, he no. literally went out and built Cerebro. And why would you be doing that all day to embarrass yourself in front of your friends? I do think it's sick that this show has a way of expanding past the limitations of the walkie-talkies. Mm-hmm. Now we can get from East Coast to West Coast around the world, baby. So that's pretty sick. Uh, because, so I really like that. Because last season, or season one, they had to have that thing at school. Yeah. So... It's cool that Dustin kind of made, you know, is is it the same strength of that? I don't know. Stronger. Stronger. Let's go, Dustin. Yeah, it said it could go, it could reach all the way around the world. Yeah, but I didn't, I mean, I didn't believe that. He just made that at science camp. <laughs> I don't, I think, I don't remember what the teacher said, the limitations to theirs was. All right, let's get into another one. That was good. Did you press record? Dang, Skippy. Yeah. The mall rats. Working at the mall rats. That means someone who's at the mall a whole lot. Or you mean the rats that live at the mall. Or that, but I'm just talking about in slang terms, you say blah, rat, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're a Rocket League rat. When I feel like slinging, that's what I say. (laughs) I don't want to see him die, though. That thing yanked him all the way in there and he got away? What's your emergency? Mm-mm. Oh. This might humble you out a little bit. Oh. What do you want? What do you want? Hey, I said, what do you want? I said, what do you want? There's, Start swinging on him, Billy. There's particles, though, right? You He's in the upside down. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. <gasps> Is that him? Did he have a hoop earring? You know, man, every time I wonder, maybe I couldn't really tell if he had a hoop earring because it was so dark. Yeah, but I thought well, that would be the identifier. I don't know why. I feel like every time I get an idea of what's going on here, it just throws me for a damn upside down loop. So did he go in the upside down because he went in that phone booth? And remember how Will basically went from a light? Remember the light bulb? Do you think it was because the light in the phone booth? <laughs> man, I really don't know the answer to that, Will Mama. <laughs> no worries, mate. We'll figure it out. Let me things up in stranger. I need to Google what the Duffer Brothers look like. What the Duffer Brothers? <laughs> Is it the Duffer Brothers or the Doofer Brothers? I like that little flannel she has, though. I know. That's what you need to get. Hey, is everything okay? Winter yes. is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Winter is coming. Hello, this is the Wheelers. Yeah, just a sec. Mike! Phone! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> That's why he has those outbursts, because mom's always screaming around the house. <laughs> Hello? Uh-oh. It's 9.32. Where are you? Sorry, I, I was just about to call. Oh, oh. She's very sick. But Hop said that your nano was okay, that it was a false alarm. <laughs> Dang yeah, it. He's that's making it up. What we thought it was at he first. He didn't slipped up on a nano banana. Real <laughs> turn for the worst. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We think she might die. <laughs> what? <gasps> Mom, get off the phone! Oh my god. Did Nana call? (laughs) No, Mom, just get off the (laughs) phone! She's so bored in her life. (laughs) I just think I need to be alone today. There it is. He did not play it off cool. (laughs) Feelings? Do you lie? What? No. Friends don't lie. What, Mom? (laughs) My mom's calling me. Better go. Talk to you tomorrow. Miss you already. Bye. 
<laughs> oh, got to him. Mike just needs a day with the boys, huh? <laughs> Poor L. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you, do you see the song? You don't mess around with Jim. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't. Like orchestra music and stuff. Mm, like sometimes it's like. Or elect electronic yeah, electric. Or whatever. Yeah. What do you even play it on? Keys? Emotions have been shared. Boundaries have been set. Order has been restored. Wait, wait, it worked? <laughs> yes, I think it worked. Yes. <laughs> no, stop. It's all you. I'm a puppet. You're the master. So you remembered everything? Metallica. <laughs> I'll tell you everything over dinner. I was thinking, you know, Enzo's tonight, 7 o'clock. <laughs> hey, before you say no, I'd, I'd like to make one mm -hmm. thing crystal clear. This is not a date. Wait, a date? You never said anything about a date. I know. <laughs> I didn't say anything about a date. I just wanted to clear it up in case there was any confusion on your part. There's not. Great. It's just two friends getting together for a nice dinner. That's right. He I just mean, wants to get earned it. Tonic and <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait. You'll be home by 9. 8. 8.30. I'll pick you up. I'll meet you there. 7. Enzo's. Meeting there. Deal. Hey, Chief. You got this, Chief? Yeah, I'm a little busy <laughs> right now. Duty calls. <clears throat> Protesting yeah. a long ways. Jeez. Clean up on aisle five. Bye. See you tonight. Magnets. Yeah, the magnetic field's disrupted. Nice job. Man, the copy. <laughs> Careful there, Nancy Drew. Careful. She's going to tell them off one day. She really is. He's such a Keith Urban looking wannabe. And here you are, two crumbs, two sugar. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Of course. I've been having some. Oh, problems. yeah, you can go. <laughs> yeah. All there good. you go. There you go. Mm hmm. Oh, come on, the light! Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Look, I just, I just don't know if this is such a good idea anymore. Really? Because I feel like it's the best idea I've had all summer. He's so Toby Jonathan McGuire. Was all I'm saying is, yeah, Toby what McGuire. harm is there in asking? The harm in asking is that Tom will say no. We ask for forgiveness, not permission. Nancy's shirt. And the story blows up in her face, and Tom fires us. And then we never have to work at the shithole again. Her shoes match her necklace is what I meant to say. If you notice it. No, I haven't, but I really like her style this season. Mm -hmm. Richard Ramirez? <laughs> Why was it called hot dog on a stick? It's a corn dog. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> Who are they blowing at? Hi. Hi. I'm Dustin. <laughs> I'm Robin. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, is, is she here? Is who here? Henderson. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. <laughs> I love that. You got the job. You got the job. <laughs> so everyone gets a girlfriend, but he gets a Steve. Oh, yeah. He gets a noble Steve. <laughs> no, they have a handshake. <laughs> 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 and they call each other How by last name. How children names. are you friends with? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He's come a long way because no this way. Hotter than suck. baby Kate. Mm -hmm. no. Brilliant, too. And she doesn't even care that my real pearls are still coming in. She says kissing <laughs> is better without teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, um, that's great. Proudy, man. That's, that was, um, that's kind of romantic. Dead. That's like, wow. So do you really just get to eat as much of this as you want? <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, sure. It's not a really good idea for me. It looks like a sailboat. keep in shape for the ladies. Yeah, and how's that working out for you? Ignore her. <laughs> Seems cool. She's not. So uh, where are the other knuckleheads? They ditched me yesterday. No. My first day back. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> what glory. So last night, we were trying oh. to get in contact with Susie. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Mm. <laughs> he heard what? that? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> just speak louder. I intercepted a secret Russian communication. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I meant to say. Wait, what does that mean? It means, Steve, we could be heroes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. American heroes. Just think, you could have all the ladies you want and more. more. <laughs> I like more. Mm -hmm. What's the catch? No catch, I just need your help with what? I didn't realize Steve has such a hairy chest. Translation. <laughs> oh. I realize y'all editing Billy broke her skateboard. Yeah, because he breaks things when he's upset, yeah. right? Oh, y'all can be friends now. And she's mugging. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can we talk? And then he said he, he missed me. 
Mike doesn't have jack shit to do today, and his Nana obviously isn't sick. <laughs> Friends don't lie. Yeah, well, boyfriends lie all the time. <laughs> she knows I'm lying. She knows I'm lying. <laughs> I don't even understand. Why oh lie? Oh my god, Pop I love this. Yeah, this part's funny. I'm loving this. Kill you? What? No. So then what's the big deal? The big deal is, is if I don't do what he says, then he'll stop me from seeing L. <laughs> <laughs> It looked like she was trying to go, or I don't know. Really? I think he didn't show up. You know, called no show that thing, huh? Right. Good cold man, Billy. Billy? What? I understand if you're angry with me. I just. Oh, so she didn't go. She didn't show either. Why I didn't come last night. Okay. It's not you, it's just I have a family, and I can't do anything that will hurt them. Yo, you need to chill, man. I understand that, right? Oh my gosh. But I shouldn't have said that. No way. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Brother. Please, will you talk to me? Stay away from me, Karen. Oh. He's like, that really hurt him. I see him in there. He looked like he needed to push real bad. <laughs> he did, though, didn't he? I mean, he looked was like, sweating. He looked like he was <laughs> drinking ammonia. <laughs> What's up with him? Somebody needs to get him some canned pumpkin. <laughs> That's what we give our dogs when they don't feel good. <laughs> oh, it's hot. You better get out the sun, Billy. Oh. He, he's pregnant with the demigorgon. Can I try the peppermint stick? Haven't you already tried the peppermint stick? <laughs> so what do you think? Sound familiar. What? The music. <laughs> the music right there at the end. Why are you listening to the music, Steve? Listen to the Russian. We're translating <laughs> Russian. I'm trying to listen to the Russian, but there's All music right, playing. Maybe some time is over. You need to get in there. Hey, my board. That was important data, shitbirds. I guarantee <laughs> that what was we're not. doing is way more important than your data. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And how do you know these Russians are up to no good anyways? Can't trust Steve. Yeah, Hello, I can hear you. Actually, I can hear everything. Oh. You are both extremely loud. You think you have evil Russians plotting against our country on tape. Sound about right? Oh, what are you doing? I'm fluent in four languages, you know. Russian? Uye arye umbade. Holy shit. That was cool. pig Latin. I was about to say, wasn't that pig Latin? I was like, huh? But I can speak Spanish and French and Italian, and I've been in band for 12 years. Aw. I kind of like her, Robin. Why would you not let her help? Yeah, you go scoop, boy. Scoop it up. Scooping Steve. Yeah, you're listening to music. You weren't even listening to the Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't tell if Nancy's like seventeen or twenty-seven. Yes. It's hard to tell. Mrs. Driscoll. Yes. Nancy Wheeler. We spoke briefly oh. on the phone last night. Oh, oh yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, you look too young for reporters. Oh. <laughs> we get that a lot. <laughs> Follow me. Driscoll's is like Red Dead Redemption. I love their little um, dynamic. Do you? They're just on the road together alone? working. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jack, my husband, he passed away. What is it now? Ten years ago. I kind of like the quiet. <laughs> <laughs> At least I did. That's what you're going to say. That's what you're going to say. This mm. way. We spend too much time together. I think I'd be lonely. Right over there. She's adorable. <laughs> They got in your fertilizer? You see those little teeth marks, don't you? That's odd for rats to go in the fertilizer. And or no, these I don't know. bags, um, you're sure they were full before? I'm old, honey, not senile. Now you <laughs> tell me, why would rats want to eat a poor old woman's fertilizer? Believe me, I know, honey. Something's not right with these rats. What does that mean exactly? Rabies is my guess. That's when I said to myself, Doris, you gotta call the paper. Heck yeah. Time to cover it up. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention. Come on over here. What? I caught one of the little bastards. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, is it gonna be a dart? <laughs> what do we want? Reclined admit he's a. What is it? Swan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is a swan? Okay, a pig. Oh, is that what it is? Mm. Yeah, my papa was a oh, swine yeah, farmer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you call a pig? Jim, <laughs> Klein is ready for you. Great, Jim. I don't Thanks trust for coming by. I'm not doing it, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down now. You don't even know what I want. You don't like your little fan club out there? You want me to shut him down? That sound about right? 
<laughs> Take a seat. My fan club, as you call them. They're not actually fans? <laughs> they lost their jobs to the mall and blame me for helping make that happen. Now, you go ask anyone else in this town. They all love the mall. It's helped our economy grow, brought in new jobs, and just some incredible new stores. Which is why they all stop shopping at their uh, mom and pops. I mean, well, Larry, I think that they're just exercising their good old-fashioned American right to protest. <laughs> Damn right. I agree. Tell them. Yeah. If, if they had a permit. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Jim, but... The uh, semantics. I don't believe they secured a permit from your office, did they? Not that I'm aware of. Then I sure do it's believe not easy it's to follow one. my right to get rid of it. Or I'm sure it is easy to follow one. Larry, I'm not a politics guy, but I think if you force those people out of here without provocation... <laughs> you know what's in four days, Jim? Independence Day? That's right. I'm going to pull out all the stops. You know why? Because at the end of the day, that's all the voters were. Yeah, we learned that from Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. Distracting with the wedding. Or gladiator. Yeah, absolutely. With all that racket going on out there. So, if you don't mind, please, just do your job. All the symbolism in that was crazy. I know, because he had an American Eagle on the day. He's like, I like Reagan and freedom, so you know I'm a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And he, and he stamps his own oh, cigars. Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? But he did pretty so much disrespect the wall by calling it his little bag. <laughs> Seriously? You have superpowers. It's so the worst that could happen. So, what should we do first? You've never been shopping before, have you? Aww. Oh, come on. The gap. <laughs> I just, I don't oh. understand what we're looking for. Something pretty and shiny that says I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like the way Max dresses too. Yeah. How do I know if I like? You just try things on until you find something that feels like you. Oh, I'm glad like she gets me like girly right yeah. now. Not Hopper, not Mike. I like the oversized flannel. Griffin, Georgia. <laughs> Joyce is looking that stuff up. <laughs> Back in her little brain. <laughs> It looked like you're right. Yeah. You had to comb over. Mm -hmm. And she needs a nerd. And he was doing some like painting of some. <laughs> hey, maybe a new love interest? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. Buyers? No. Her and Hopper need to be together. You gotta keep doing this until you stop moving, you little shit. Dang, Jonathan. It's just a scrappy little one. Hi, yes. Um, this is Nancy Wheeler from the Hawkins Post. <laughs> no, uh, rabid rats. Rats with rabies. Okay, um, what about just rats in general? Okay. Looks like a rat on the wall over Thank there. You. Or a Regular squirrel. Detective, aren't you? Lemonade, oh. it's fresh squeezed. Sure, thanks. Um, she looks like the boy or the girl version of the dude from up. More calls. Not yeah. at all. I enjoy the company. Oh. Don't turn your back on it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna bust open. Oh. All right, little bud. No. Little bud. I have a lead. Yeah. Okay, but uh. I just think there's something really wrong with this rap. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Mm. Sludge. Oh, it's moving. So basically something happened to those rats that changed the inside into a different like organism or something. And I'm assuming all those rats are just part of it and it's all gonna come together or something. I said, what do you want? Oh, shit. To build. To build what? What you see. I don't understand. What do you mean? I don't understand. I don't know why I felt like something like this was gonna happen to him because he was so mean. Maybe like, he just seems like the perfect candidate to get possessed by something. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what is it? The same thing that will. Cue the down with the sickness. <laughs> Billy. Billy. Take, Take me, me to him. him. What? 
said, are you hurt? What's going on? I heard screaming. Oh, no. Okay. That was like the army that was behind him? I guess so. Okay, that word. <laughs> We've got our first sentence. Oh, seriously? Yeah. The week is long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. You got a strawberry and then a vanilla with sprinkles. Oh, and cream. thanks. Wait a second. Are you even allowed to be here? Where are they getting all this money? <laughs> I guess her parents are just giving them. <laughs> okay. You want to trade? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why can't I just uh, mow? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Yeah, but build up that much money. <laughs> Dude, what if we split it? <laughs> split the run it. in. Isn't this a nice surprise? Now the day's over. Will's what just back there like. are you doing here? <laughs> Shopping. What do you think? What's wrong with you? You know she's not allowed to be here. What is she, your little pet? Yeah. Am I your pet? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do you treat me like garbage? What? You said Nana was sick. She is sick. Yes, yeah, she's sick. sick. She's sick. She's super sick. <laughs> That's why we're here, actually. Yeah, yeah, we're shopping. Not for us, but for her, for Nana. <laughs> it's super hard. It's, it's expensive. <laughs> you lie. You can't even be mad at them. They're too Why honest. Why do you lie? <laughs> I dump your ass. You're as cold as ice. <laughs> <laughs> now can we play D and D? No. Oh. He raised my property taxes, Jim. Forced me off my land. Oh, uh, Jim. That's all you want, Henry. You just gotta go through the proper channels first. Nothing okay? proper about what that man did to us. Yeah, yeah. To our yeah, town. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Special delivery. Yeah. It is kind of yeah. weird. You gotta Not like get right permission one? from the government yeah. to protest, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's he... a lot of color for you, Chief. It's cutting edge stuff, right? That's his date shirt. It's I love cutting that. edge. He's trying to show that he can be like a tire. It's cutting edge. He still wore like a damn cowboy uniform <laughs> over it. I'll start over the scotch. Uh, you make that a double. Very good, sir. How's your Chianti? Our Chianti is quite <laughs> good. Yeah. Medium bodied with just a hint of cherry. We then love cherries. Huh? We'll have oh, uh, she's that, not there uh, yet. Two, two glasses, please. One for uh, me and one for the lady. This is a fancy spot. I know Joyce might get the wrong idea showing up here, huh? I know. I was like, why are you going to smoke in there and make it all not fancy? <laughs> Just different times, huh? Now they just oversaturate you with Taylor Swift everywhere you what go. What is this again? Which is no problem. This is a solenoid. It's a <gasps> coil wrapped around no. a metallic core. It creates an electromagnetic field. Exactamundo. Now for the fun part, shall we? Yeah. How? The magnetic dipoles try to orient according to the field, but no, since no, no, it's I mean, how is this happening at my house? <laughs> You want my honest opinion? You're one of your kiddos got up in the middle of the night. Apophenia. Apo what? Wow. Apophenia. You're seeing patterns that aren't there. Coincidence. But what if it's not? Right. Well, theoretically speaking, I suppose some large version of this AC transformer could exist. A machine of some kind. A machine? Dustin's right. Tens of millions of dollars. But it is possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> such an eccentric guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. He's such a science enthusiast. The week is long, the, the silver, silver cat, cat feed, feed when blue meets yellow in the west. west. Meet the silver I mean, cat's the demigod. It's just, right? it's it's just silver, can't didn't be it? right. It's right. Kinda. Honestly, I think it's great news. <laughs> Nonsense. It's too specific. It's obviously a code. What do you think they were going to say? Fire the warhead at noon? Exactly. <laughs> and my translation is correct. I can't believe I'm about to agree with this strange child, but yeah, <laughs> totally. Evil Russians. So how do we crack it? Or a weapon? It's probably going to take a super genius to crack it, but... Maybe Where's L. Uh, it's quarter. Do you, I need, do you have a quarter? You sure you're tall enough for that ride? Quarter! <laughs> you need help getting up, little Stevie? Shh. <laughs> Would you two just shut up and listen? Is that music? Holy I don't shit. Know. The music. Oh, wow. The music. That's why he recognized it. He heard, I guess he wrote that a few times. <laughs> I don't understand. It's the exact same song in the recording. Maybe it's the called Russians Russian. are in Hawkins. It's code. It didn't come from Russia. It came from Hawkins, baby. Right. It came from here. So you're not allowed to speak Russian anymore? Pretty jacked up, man. Not when you're saying code messages.
What if that's just how they talk in Russia? They just have a very elegant tongue. <laughs> yeah, in other languages they do. Good evening, me lady. The cat flies at midnight. Oh. Would you like to order your entree, sir? You know what, Enzo? The restaurant. I just lost my appetite. All right. So here you go. I'm gonna keep it changed. Nah, don't be like that, huh? You're gonna lose that job. He's the right. He's like these silver cats is leaving. Oh, he might have been the Russian guy. Yeah. Why? Because he had a sharp nose. You didn't see how Russian he looked when he looked. Russian. <laughs> you notice in TV shows the bad guy's always Russian though. Yeah, that's like propaganda. <laughs> or something, right? I'm just starting to notice there's always some Russian guy. I mean, I get the Cold War and all that in the time period. Like I understand, but in other media. Oh no. Billy, are you okay? Did. Couldn't control it. So basically that thing speaking to him too. It was speaking to Will, but Will's an angel. Yeah. And you had to get involved with um, you know, what do you even call him? Mullet Joe? Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> Be afraid. It'll be over soon. Just stay very still. <laughs> Why are you saying the scariest shit ever then? Oh my gosh. Man, I'm so damn confused. I know. All right, let's just get right into it, guys. So this is what I'm thinking. Apparently, Billy's going and he's playing like Black Widow or he's playing Spider, basically. He's capturing these women, I guess, for these little creatures or whatever. I guess, or it might not just be women, because when that army was behind him, it looked like it was men and women. So I think it's just whoever the person says. Maybe they have, like, a vulnerable person they pick. Like, for example, Will and Billy. Yeah. Man, I don't even know. I just feel like, I don't know, that's weird. He's, like, harvesting them for the feeding or something. Yeah, it's like he's harvesting them to, like, Maybe he try, he's going to try to harvest, like, everybody. I guess the uh, the monsters are trying to keep it on the low out there. They ain't trying to get spotted. They need somebody out there in the streets uh, collecting the mills for them. Right. So, I don't know, man. I, I don't really understand what this entity is anymore. You know, it's really hard to understand because, like, I've done seen them turn into tornadoes. And I, and I don't really... I have no idea what that was about, basically, is what I'm trying no, to say. No, so. there's just more questions than I have answers for right. that. And, but I... But what we can talk about is the relationships. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can. Absolutely. Because that's all that I understand right now. Poor Hopper. I'm so yeah. bummed about that because I'll be dang if Joyce is going to get with that dang teacher. Uh-uh. I, I don't want that. No. You know, man. No. Nope. He has an Asian girlfriend. There's a. Yeah, right. And there's a reason that he's not married. Right. And there, a, you know what I'm saying? He's just, I don't know what I'm trying to say. He's a nice guy. Yeah. But she, he was painting figurines. He was busy. I thought we'd have figured it out, man, that she wanted Hopper at the end of the day. Remember when they was in that tunnel and she's like, Hopper, Hopper. Right. And Bob's like, hey, I'm right here. But what I've noticed from the show is that Joyce back in her day, because Hopper was quote unquote a bad guy because she was like, we used to split cigarettes in six period or whatever. So it was like, you know, Bob's Bob was like the good guy, like seeing them. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, they'll never talk to me. You know, he gets them. So I think Joyce's thing is she's looking for a good guy, not a hopper, because she thinks, I don't know, maybe she's already had that. She thinks he's dangerous. Maybe she wants Yeah, she's just conflicted. Yeah. She wants a hopper, but she doesn't need a hopper. And those yeah. are two things that she's trying to balance because she right. does have kids and stuff. But I right. mean, hoppers. But seems... their chemistry is good. Their chemistry is so good together. Yeah. Like, I really love them together. Yeah, they got them good kids. If this you know, show they're... doesn't put them together, I'm going to be so disappointed in that. Hey, they might not. Sometimes things just don't end the way and you want And she needs to not bring that guy in because that's their favorite teacher, and so he's just going to die. That is true. He's gonna, yeah. She's going to completely get him involved. And I think that'll just confuse the kids, make it a little weird, you know. And Joyce needs to, like... You know, it's a small town, Hawkins. You know what I'm saying? She don't need to be... <laughs> she, she don't need to be out there making a name for herself she needs to just keep it and you know what i'm saying hopper's the sheriff that seems like not exciting i'm not saying you should date him because it's exciting because he's a sheriff or anything but it's but like you have a lot of problems at your house always like yeah it seems like it's you good to have someone that. on yeah. call like yeah. constantly but i don't even know but yeah anyways like that she's caught up for good reason she's not just right. screwing off though right we're I making mean it seem like she's doing something wrong She's just very she's doing something wrong to me because I want her and Hopper to be well, last time <laughs> things messed up in Hawkins, man, it almost cost her her baby. So yeah. in her mind, like Hopper's great and she loves Hopper, but forget Hopper. 
Like if that monster's back and something's about to happen to her kid, then she's not. She's inquiring. Which is why Joyce that, is yeah. the goat, man. Yeah. We love Joyce. I'm just giving Joyce a hard time. She's uh, she's Joyce definitely awesome. one of. She's like, I love how much she loves her kids. Like it's yeah. how much she cared about Will's disappearance was like just amazing. It was I mean, top tier acting. Sure, yes. right? yeah. But yeah, I just think that the relationships are getting complicated. I think it's funny how this show really contrasted between everything being so good and you know mike and 11 they're just so into each other but then all of a sudden like reality's starting to hit a little bit mike's feeling a little smothered hopper made him feel smothered <laughs> yeah mike was feeling like you know whatever hopper you're not her real dad and then hopper let him know well i just thought maybe in mike's head he was like dude i just need to recalibrate and refocus i don't know i guess i guess i completely misread that that's okay no i think hopper scared the junk out of okay. him so that's why they and that's why they went to the mall too because they know El's not alive. in my mind i just didn't think that he took hopper serious at all because he told him basically to shut the hell up or something like that didn't well he? when he made that phone call when he was like i can't hang out today like and then hopper <laughs> was like for the first time in six months they're not hanging out today yeah yeah so i think hopper, oh yeah dude yeah six months straight hanging out at that age heck no you yeah you gotta put your nah, foot down like yeah, they gotta absolutely. give a little bit of space you gotta, you gotta focus gotta... on other aspects of your life right. you're still growing in a lot of ways um great episode man just a character building episode a lot of relationships i think that my favorite was ellen max's relationship though because i love i love how l now has a girl that's a friend a friend that's a girl right and they've come a long way right. from throwing each other off skateboards and right stuff. because i feel like l She's kind of grown up around boys and, you know, she doesn't really know. So it's cool to have someone like show her, hey, because she remember she likes to feel pretty. Well, she's still just discovering everything. Yeah, so she just completely, yeah. you know, because Elle, we watched her discover so much in the first season, particularly in the second season also. But now we're in the third season and she's still discovering things. So she's obviously new to she's not new to the mall anymore. She understands like what it's like to not live at Hawkins Lab. But the thing that she really discovered more than anything was what it was like to just run around and genuinely just have like a carefree just be a child like be fun have a good time right and not be in your head and be self-conscious because right. i'm sure when she's around mike i'm sure she's like how's my teeth looking how am i mm -hmm. smelling how am i looking how am i you know what i'm saying i'd imagine so it's pretty you know it's just good to not be all in your head at such mm -hmm. a young age i think i think they had a lot of fun yeah uh so your boy billy got took in uh into the down under for sure and so i guess he's our bad guy because that's the thing about the show that i was starting to realize was there's no bad guy that we can really put into form other than the shadow monster. I mm. guess there's demigorgons, but we can't just only have demigorgons this whole series. Right. Right. So I think it's cool that they put a bad guy in human form for the first yeah. time. So now he's like a walk-in. And I interrupted my own thought here, but there's two themes going on simultaneously in Hawkins. There's two things happening. The Russians are there and they're walking amongst the people and they don't realize. And Billy's there, whatever the heck he is, and he's walking amongst the people and they don't realize. So mm -hmm. there's just a lot happening in Hawkins and people are just completely oblivious to it. Yeah. Which, you know, which adds a whole layer of like mystery and conspiracy to it. And I really like which that. Which is so. crazy because you're talking about that and then they're protesting and all that to make a distraction there. But that distraction is another distraction for something else. Right. So there's just so a lot of So you think the mall's a distraction? I don't know. I feel like I feel like the protesting is a distraction. It's just a weird thing, like, you know those are those small town issues that i'm sure like people had for sure mm. because everyone likes the mall the mall is great the mall gives you something to do it's not even 1980 bro it's 2020 something mm. you know what i'm saying and where i live is is boring as i'll get out mm. here so if we had a mall that'd be cool right but you know bring in a mall and everyone loves it and i get that but at the same time if it kills all the local businesses and erases like the history and the culture i get that too but i guess at the end of the day you just gotta do your best to do both yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to modernize and just try to preserve what you can, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Very interesting episode. I like how we're starting to get like a better idea of like Hawkins as a town and how it operates. Yes. Because that's something the show is missing in a way. It's not really missing, but it doesn't spend a lot of time hitting you on. You did get a lot more views in this one. Like, you yeah, know, exactly. we did see Joyce's store before, but you could see like the whole mm -hmm. row. You could, you see, could see, yeah, the yeah, backgrounds and everything. Yeah. I really, I really like that aspect too because. Like, like I said, that's more of a world building. Do you game. think people do that on purpose? Like directors do it on purpose? Like, do you think they keep all the shots in the early seasons like tight? And then as the series progresses, they like open the shots up. Well, this is silly, but you know, that's a good question because I was thinking about this because when you first do the pilot, are you even sure you get another season? Like, that's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking. I don't think so. So when you're doing that, you really have to like, you have to plan for the long run, from, but not expect from it. From what I, I understand, like you have to pitch the idea and then if, that passes then you get the chance to make a pilot and if you pitch the pilot and then that is successful 
then they'll give you an opportunity to do like a season. And right. if that's successful, you know what I'm saying? It's just and like a to me, system. that's why when you said that, I'm that was why I'm not really sure because maybe they put this out on Netflix and then it like went crazy and they were like, oh shoot, we got to do, see, you know, like keep going and keep going. But I, that's a good question. I don't know. It's just interesting. It's just or like the budget increased or something. You know what I'm saying? You got to think like well, that Well, yeah, because this sounds goofy, but you saying that just made it, just sparked it like, you notice I mentioned that they're putting like more actual real music, like mm -hmm. modern yeah. classic rock. Early in the show, they didn't do that. Everything right. like, was electronica and stuff. And I think as the show's gotten bigger and has brought in that revenue, they're starting to bring in like that marketing music. You know what I'm saying? So they're but I paying think the that, big money for that it. That music makes like the 80s vibe really good though. So and I, I like, I like it. it. Yeah. I kind of liked. I do, I do like the dis, not the disco, but the techno feeling. Right, I like it when when the kids are around. They like have feeling. this certain music that's like you know electronic. I we were watching, uh, well we weren't watching, but our reaction to the very first episode of this series popped up on our TV in our living room, and the music in that was so good, man. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. I, I can't really like hum it, but. The music in the pilot episode was pretty. It's just incredible. like electronic. That's how and I, I really that's like how it. I can explain it. And so that's the music I like the most in the show. But I do like how they're implementing like more like, you know, word with like music with the lyrics. I love, but great. I like that. This is silly, but I like how corny, cornily accurate those songs are to the situation. Oh yeah. Like if you notice, all every single song has something corny to the situation. It's like if the song was literally like. L's getting jealous. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike's hanging with Max. Like she's trying to unclose. It's like material girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Living a material world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So corny. Yeah, but I, that's I, how that's how movies and stuff were back then. Yeah, though. but I, that's what I so like. They were kind of like yeah. they were like the show. Not only does the show try to like capture that eighties and stuff, it tries to also implement some of like the right. corny, mm -hmm. you know, movie and TV yeah. making trick. So yeah. Like yeah, like having those ladies in the eighties be like it's showtime, with their little like thing to like. What do you have that thing? I don't get it. I've seen people do it. They have this like tray and it's like mirrors <laughs> and it like tans their face or something. Oh yeah 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 what yeah. What the heck? You like why do you need that? I I don't know. That's such an eighties. I don't know. I just I've seen I've seen that. Before. But I feel like in that era though, like people like junk by for sure now but in that era people would sell anything like right, I, looking right. at dustin's toys in this episode even the little godzilla looking thing that was shooting the little disc out of his mouth <laughs> it's like what a junk toy in a way you know what i'm saying but yeah, when i was a kid i had stuff like that but they but they would trick you back then like all types of things like i even think back then people had like door-to-door -door salesmen for like vacuums yeah so, so you would just end up with the most random stuff because it was like a face-to-face -face interaction. Yeah, I, I really genuinely don't know if those times were better, or if it's just nos you know like nostalgia and stuff. I mean, it's just hard to know, dude. Like, you know what I mean? It's so hard to know. It might be something where like the 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 more you have, the more ungrateful you are. Like mm -hmm. some of the best times, like like if you're poor and you go to the grocery store and you get something to eat, it's some of the best food. But when when going out to eat, it's not something that you really think about. You just lose perspective, I guess. So yeah, I don't really know if today's society is better or worse. It's really hard to tell, you know. But it's interesting to know. What do you guys think? Would you guys rather go back to the past? I'm sure they would, but I don't. Like I said, I don't know if it's because of nostalgia. Like maybe everyone's just happier when they're younger and they have. Well, the comments in, in this one said that this show like captures the eighties. Like, that's, oh, I believe it. So I think that's good because honestly, this show kind of to me is geared because you know I, I was even talking about it to our nine year old because I thought like that would interest him that kind of stuff. He knew what a demi organ was, which was incredible. But anyways, <laughs> um, I was telling him about it, and I guess like being so intact with the eighties is a good way to get like an older audience to want to actually care about it. Because they I were alive were for cool. them. I don't know. Well, like I said, man, those times in like the 80s and stuff, people were really being sold this idea that the future was going to be like the, you know, the Jetsons. We're going to have flying cars and, you know. Which is true, though, because when I watched that, I was like, literally like, when I'm an adult, I'm going to fly to work. <laughs> like, I thought that. Right. And there was just so much like hope and optimism back then, you know, and you could see it like you could see it just in like the culture and the society. Everything was so vibrant. The way people dressed was it was loud and it was vibrant and it was social mm -hmm. like the way people dress now is very standoffish and antisocial if you've noticed like people tend to wear like darker colors people aren't is out there with what they wear i mean some people are out there with what they wear don't get me wrong but a lot of people some don't people like to are wear too like, out there <laughs> yeah 
absolutely but not everyone likes to wear all these bright flashy bright colors and stuff like people used to dress like they were going to the skating ring all the time back then you know and it was just mm -hmm. a i think people did it because they just wanted the atmosphere of society to be more like a party in a way mm -hmm. but it, people today aren't really like that at all so it's just a completely different vibe i guess to life but i don't know man i don't know if it's because we have all this social media and cell phones and I'm really you know. enjoying the season, like already. I know we've only seen two episodes, but I really like this one. The show's got more freaking layers than a seven layer cake. Yeah. With onions in it. Yeah, because we didn't even talk about Nancy and Jonathan. Like, they're doing their own thing now, too. Oh, they done grew up. We don't even got to right. talk about them. They're they grew up, they're adults. <laughs> <laughs> they got a mortgage. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know what? They work for the post. That's so cute. <laughs> you think they're making anything? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't so. I, Jonathan might be a little something, but I feel like he sells like whatever photos work, like Peter Parker. But Nancy, no, she's the intern. <laughs> Why does Nancy have no regard for Jonathan's photography? <laughs> she walks in all the time, like every time. He even puts a he's puts like a sign on the he's door. like come on. She's like let's go. Forget your photography job. <laughs> <laughs> he can reshoot the pictures. <laughs> I like that, but the thing and. The thing also that I liked in this episode was, I mean, I didn't like it because the, the situation was happening, but Joy, I mean, Nancy's mom was about to meet up with Billy and she decided she wasn't going to. But remember when she walked out of Billy and she's like, hey, I'm sorry I didn't show. Well, he didn't show either because he was, you know, eating, eaten by something. She missed out on Billy's Willie. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But for, for good, like, I'm glad. Wasn't she taller than him? It doesn't matter. I'm glad she didn't do it. Uh, I, I love Stephen Dustin's relationship too. I just want to bring that up. You know, man, here's the thing, right? You should never cheat. Like, that's obviously gross. You shouldn't do it. But I'm just going to say, dude, like, Mrs. Willard's a lady who's obviously like, like, she likes to dance, if you get what I'm saying. And Mr. Willard's just sleeping on the recliner all day. Like, on some level, like, you got to, you know, I, you, you, right. you, you know. They just don't say. care about, like, they just are like, they obviously just they're don't really. They're existing in the same house. Yeah. Basically. I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. I don't right. relate to that. All right, man. Uh, but, a good episode. But Steve and Dustin, um, I like how we added Robin to the mix. Robin's the girl. I think that she is going to be a character because obviously she can decode things. Yeah. She can decode things. I really like that. I like Steve and Dustin's relationship. Now, I'm loving the show. It's just so good. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I feel like I'm on uh, repeat mode because this show's definitely... Man, it's hitting, you know what I'm saying? The show's scooping, scooping Steve. So I guess we got to re-nickname Steve. So Captain Steve. Yep. Because he's uh, he's a captain of the ice cream boat, <laughs> I guess. It was cool how he made that little Sunday and then made the sails with the waffle cones. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Yeah, I think that a job like that would be really cool to work in a mall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he gets picked on by every person in town because <laughs> they go there. Well, that's because every girl that walks up Steve's trying to get with. Yeah. Just relax. He's like, I'm going in. <laughs> right. Do that. Do that for like three months. You're going to run out of people and then you're going to have to move. <laughs> you're gonna have yeah, to but to I already town. know he's him and Robin are going to get together. Yeah. I already see it. Dustin's going to tell him they should. And then Dustin's going to get sad because Steve's going to be too into Robin. He's going to start third willing them. And then hopefully Susie. Well, hopefully we find Susie. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next one.